Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject computer organization and architecture is interrupts. So interrupts, let us see what is this interrupts. Interrupts are nothing but a signals generated by the external devices. So it's nothing but a signal. Interrupt is nothing but a signal that generated by the external devices. External devices. So to request the microprocessor to perform some task means the interrupt signal is asking the microprocessor to generate means to uh, perform some action. So it is a signal given to the microprocessor. So let me explain again. Interrupts is nothing but it is a signals generated by the external devices like output devices or input devices from external any other devices so that external devices to request the microprocessor to request the microprocessor microprocessor is nothing but the processor cpu microprocessor to perform a task that is an interrupt okay so let us take uh, some interrupts that are present in 8085 microprocessor. So based on the microprocessor, different interrupt signals will be generated based on their configuration. Here I am going to explain about the interrupts that are present in 8085 microprocessor. Let us see. Interrupts are classified into a groups based on their parameters. So the different interrupts that are present in the 8085 microprocessor are means the processor that accepts the interrupts or vector interrupt next non vector interrupt maskable interrupt and non maskable interrupt non maskable interrupt so these are the four different interrupts that are uh, classified into groups based on their parameters so actually 8085 microprocessor uh, it accepts the interrupts and those interrupts are divided into two mainly one is the software interrupt so before going to know about these interrupts let us see uh, the two different interrupts that are present in a uh, that accept by the 8085 microprocessor software interrupt and hardware interrupt so what is a software interrupt and what is a hardware interrupt in software interrupts so this type of uh, interrupt the programmer has the programmer has add the instructions into the program to execute the interrupt to execute the interrupt so that you call it as a software interrupt what is that a software interrupt is nothing but an interrupt uh, given by the programmer the programmer means the user means who are developing the program so that programmer is write uh, write some instruction in the program to execute this interrupts so those you call it as a software interrupts. So there are total 8 software interrupts that are present in 8085 microprocessor. So those 8 software interrupts are 8 software interrupts are present in 8085 processor. So those 8 software interrupts are RST0, RST1, RST2, RST3, RST4, RST5, RST6 and RST7. So these are the four software interrupts that are accepted by the 8085 microprocessor. So these you call it as a software interrupts in 8085, software interrupts. Now let us see what is a hardware interrupt. Hardware interrupt means it is the interrupt that caused by the hardware 
so this is software means the programmer is going to be add some instructions to the program to execute the interrupt whereas hardware interrupt is the interrupt caused by the, uh, by the hardware devices some external devices so these hardware interrupts are uh, totally five hardware interrupts are present in 8085 microprocessor so the pins that are connected to this hardware interrupts are trap the five hardware interrupts are trap, RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5 and INTR. So these are the five hardware interrupts. Five hardware interrupts and eight software interrupts. So these here the trap is having the highest priority. So whenever the trap interrupt is occurred in the program means in the while executing the programs whenever the trap signal is activated. So this request has to be served first. Once the trap signal service request is over it can the processor continues with the, uh, the previous instructions. So this trap is having the highest priority and INT is having the lowest priority. The priority will be decreasing from here like this. Okay. So these are the two different interrupts that are present in the uh, 8085 microprocessor. Software interrupt and hardware interrupt. Now let us see what is this vector interrupt, non-vector, maskable and non-maskable interrupts. Let me write that. So these interrupts are classified mainly based on their parameters so the parameters that are used based on the parameters these interrupts will be generated vector interrupt so vector interrupt means here uh, interrupt address is known to processor so whenever the interrupt address is known to the processor then you call it as a vector interrupt here the interrupt address means from where the interrupt is coming from which device the interrupt is coming that will be uh, known by the processor that you call it as a vector interrupt here the interrupt address is known to the processor so these interrupts can be generated with the signals uh, pins like rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 and trap so with the help of these pins the vector interrupt will be generated so uh, when a vector interrupt means the interrupt address is known to the processor with the help of these pins now coming to the next so next is non vector interrupt so non vector means the address will not known to the processor so here the interrupt address interrupt address is not known to not known to the processor so interrupt address uh, needs to send externally by the device to perform interrupt so only that with the help of the external device only it uh, accepts the processor knows the address of the interrupt from where the interrupt is coming so the example for this uh, non vector interrupt is INTR. INTR interrupt is nothing but it is a non vector interrupt. Now coming to the third one. So what is the third one here? Maskable interrupt. Maskable interrupt. So what is this maskable interrupt? He, in this type, we can disable the interrupt. Maskable, the name is saying we are masking the interrupts. Just, uh, it's not appearing, means maskable. Uh, here, in this type, we can disable, we can disable the interrupt by writing some instructions 
into the program. So we can disable the interrupt by writing some instruction into the program that you call it as a maskable interrupts. The, ex the examples for this maskable interrupts is RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5. So these are the maskable interrupts. And coming to the last one, what is that? That is non-maskable interrupts. Means those are not disabled. Non-maskable interrupt. Here, we cannot disable we cannot disable interrupt by writing. Interrupt by writing. So, only uh, some instructions into the program. Uh, here we cannot disable by writing some instructions into the program. So, the examples for non-maskable interrupt is trap. So, trap is non-maskable. Whenever the trap signal is occurred, the processor has to stop that present work and it has to take the trap signal uh, request and it uh, the processor has to execute the service whatever the trap signal is sending. After the completion of the trap signal, then only the processor can continue with this uh, previous work. So, that's why we are saying this is a non-maskable interrupt. Trap is a non-maskable interrupt. We cannot disable that interrupt. So, whenever it is occurred, that has to be, the processor has to execute the service of the trap. So, these are the different interrupts that are present in the 8085 microprocessor. And here the one more concept will be there, ISR. ISR. So, what is this ISR? ISR is nothing but interrupt service routine. So, this is nothing but it is an Interrupt service routine. So, what is the use of this interrupt service routine in 8085 microprocessor? So, this is a small program or a routine that when executed, service the corresponding interrupting sources. It, the main use of the interrupt service routine is it services the, it services the interrupts. So, which interrupt has to be sent next? That will be uh, managed by this interrupt service routine. It takes all the interrupts and stored in just like a buffer and sends according to their priority to the processor. So, it is giving service to the interrupt. So, this is about the uh, different types of interrupts that are present in 8085 microprocessor. Thank you.